Hi guys, um, I am going to tell you about a quick share called Draw the Picture. Um, two students pair up um, and then each student receives a different picture. They're allowed to look at their own picture but they're not allowed to look at each other's. So one student will be the describer and the other student will be the recorder. And so partner A will describe the picture. Um, partner B is allowed to ask questions about the picture, ask for clarification. So they might be describing um, where something's at in a picture or what color something is or what the object is in general. And then partner B is just going to be drawing it um, to the best of their ability. And then give the students about five minutes to do that and then they can switch roles so that both students have a chance to do both. And then um, once both students have finished, you'll let each student look at um, their drawing compared to the actual picture. And, you know, they'll be able to see the differences and what things they got in the right places or um, what things they were able to draw really well based on what was described to them. So um, this activity focuses on speaking and listening skills. Um, you could argue that writing is one of the targeted language skills as well, but I think that would be for younger ages like kindergarten, um, just because sometimes kindergartners are still working on their writing and maybe they're drawing as they're writing, um, but for the most part I think it's just speaking and listening because they're describing something and they're telling someone about um, their picture and then they're using that information and taking it in and really um, just listening to the words so they can draw what's being described to them. Um, I think this will be a really easy one to use for any grade or age or proficiency level um, just based on the pictures, you can change the pictures and how complex they are, or how simple they are, um, if they're colorful or not, or um, if they have objects that are, you know, well known. Most students are going to know what a dog is, but um, more complex pictures with different types of buildings or people or um, things like that might be better to use as the proficiency levels and age levels get higher. Um, so kind of as an example, as a lower level, how well you can see that. So in that one, you, it's kind of simple. There's a dog, there's a red soccer ball, there's a man throwing the ball. Those are things that will be able to be described. So I put that, um, maybe as something you would use with early intermediate levels, um, you could use phrases like, as the describer, there is a dog running towards a ball, or there is a red soccer ball um, towards the top of the picture. Um, so things like that. You could set them up with sentence frames if they needed help with it. Or you can use more complicated pictures um, that just maybe even just have more objects in them and more places to describe them. So... Might help if it's right side up. So in that picture there's lots of buildings and then there's people and um, it's kind of hard to see in the in the picture if you don't have it online but um, there's a clothesline. Some people might not know what a clothesline is. Um, there's brick buildings and then the location so that would be more of an advanced picture that you could use. Um, you might say there are six buildings and behind the small brick building there is a blue house. So um, kind of as the pictures more get more complex, the sentences and describing will get more complex. So to be able to do that, you'll need students that more have more of an advanced um, proficiency level. Um, so yeah, just the ways to adapt it are different pictures. Um, even more simple than the one with the dog is just maybe kind of almost more of a sketch picture that just has one or two objects and then um, really simple 
um, for students that are struggling, you can provide them with sentence frames. Um, I have examples of those on my Word document with all of this. Um, but it's a pretty easy one, and I know I've done it as an activity, and I thought it was fun to do. So um, you can use this as a whole class activity, um, even for like working on everyone's writing skills and um, everyone's speaking and listening skills. Or, sorry, not really writing, their drawing skills. Um, but, yeah, and it's a fun activity. They get to draw the pictures, and then afterwards they get to see how close they were to the actual picture. So that's fun for them. So, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I'll post my um, Word document of it up on Moodle. Thanks.